How were workers in the 1800s able to build the towers of the Brooklyn Bridge under the waters of the East River? And how safe were their construction methods? In this video, we'll do an experiment to explore how workers built the towers of the Brooklyn Bridge into the bedrock of the East River. Hey everybody, this is Chloe from Brooklyn Boatworks, and today I'm going to take us on a deep dive into one of the most interesting and kind of unbelievable parts about the Brooklyn Bridge, which is the caissons, which rest at the very bottom of the bridge towers. I'm going to show you a really simple hands-on experiment that will give you a sense of how these caissons were constructed and just what a miracle of engineering they are. And this is an experiment that you can do at home really easily with just a couple of very simple materials. Ready? So for this, you're gonna need one big container of water. I'm using this Tupperware. Then you're gonna need one small container. You can use a Tupperware, a bowl, whatever. And inside that, you're gonna to wanna to put a post-it, just like this. I put a smiley face on mine. So super simple. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this little vessel and we are going to sink it in to this big container full of water. So in order for this to work, I really want to make sure that the edges are properly aligned with the water surface. I don't wanna go in at an angle like this, right? So we're gonna submerge this, we're gonna hold it all the way down to the very bottom, and we're gonna to count to 20 together, and then take it right back out and see what we'll see. I would like all of you to take a guess right now at home. Tell me what you think is gonna to happen to this post-it note that I've stuck in the bottom here. Is it going to get wet? it will be completely submerged in the water or is it somehow miraculously gonna stay dry guess now because we are about to sink this guy under ready let's go that didn't sound good one two three 19 20. now i'm just gonna pull this straight up again this is already all the way at the bottom. We don't want to go at a weird angle. None of this. Just straight up and go. Okay. This is the moment of truth, you guys. Is this little piece of paper in there going to be wet or is it going to have stayed dry? I didn't think it would work, but check it out. That is 100% dry as a bone. You can see that the outside of this bowl is wet and inside this guy is still just as happy as he was before. So why did this happen? What is it about the physics of this downwards container in the water that is creating a dry pocket? Can anyone guess? So basically this is a bubble of what we call compressed air. So when you turn this upside down, there's air in between the bowl sides and my hand, right? So if my hand were the surface of the water, there's still air in there. And as I sink it down, that air bubble stays trapped underneath the bowl. So right now the air bubble is all the way down under the water. It's completely submerged. And as long as I don't go at an angle and lift up one side, which will cause the water to rush in and the bubble will pop, as it were. This is a completely viable little chamber of air. So now imagine that this bowl was the size of a whole city block. So the caissons that they used to build the Brooklyn Bridge were humongous boxes of wood. Each one was maybe about half a block large. So really big, Kind of wooden boxes in this general shape and they basically just floated them out into the East River and then they sunk them down and in order for this to work this bridge it needs to rest on rock right it can't just be it can't be piling rocks in the water and you know that those towers are standing in the water like this right so they need to have a firm foundation to be standing on so the caisson is where my hand kind of is and they actually had to send workers down there into that caisson 
so that they could continue to excavate, which means dig up the dirt until this tower finally was able to rest on the bedrock underneath the East River. Caissons are just part of the science behind the strength of the Brooklyn Bridge. Next time, we'll explore some of the other forces at work by building a model Brooklyn Bridge using things you can find at home.